For those seeking further in-depth information concerning the Church of Christ movement founded in the early 1800s by Thomas and Alexander Campbell, Barton W. Stone, and Walter Scott, please contact Christian Answers of Austin, Texas. Free newsletters and other information on this subject are available by simply calling or emailing us. Access our online videos on Church of Christ and other Campbellite movements on Yahoo Video. Once on the Yahoo Videos homepage, put Larry Wessels in the search box and click enter. We were strapped for time in that debate, but I kept wanting to ask Mr. Bennett, uh, when did Alexander Campbell ever belong to a Church of Christ? Because since he only had one baptism, and that was by a Baptist preacher, and uh, that baptism obviously was unscriptural according to their teachings because at that time it was not for the remission of sins. They didn't believe that at that time. I would like to, you know, have asked him, well, when did Alexander Campbell ever get baptism that put him into the church? Mm -hmm. Sounds like by their own definition he must have gone to hell. That is what they're shut up to if they use any logic or reason at all about it because the man never had but one baptism, an immersion, that was by the Baptist preacher in uh, 1800 and uh, what, 11 or 12 it was. And then uh, later on, 1823 and 1827, this so-called restoration of the purpose of baptism came along. And uh, so unless you can say that uh, you can have retroactive faith mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, and do it that way, uh, then uh, it really puts Campbell's salvation. And, and on top of that, Brother Boyette, he'd professed conversion back in Scotland before he ever came to America. So he, he claimed he was a Christian before right, that baptism. Right. He claimed a conversion experience, as they said uh, in his memoirs, it was such an experience that any Baptist church would have accepted it. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously this wasn't involving baptism. So you have a clear contradiction here between mm -hmm. this claim uh, of these latter-day Campbellites that Campbell restored the church and actually what the man really did. I have gobs and gobs of literature that they'll say, Campbell obeyed the truth. Campbell was a great gospel preacher. Campbell stood for the faith. Campbell did this. Campbell did that. This magazine, Spiritual Sword, I have one issue of this magazine that uh, they quote Alexander Campbell over 100 times in this magazine, and yet and yet they say, oh, we're not Campbellites. We don't follow Alexander Campbell. I notice they always try to distance this. themselves from and, Alexander and, Campbell, right. and they, they disregard right. the term Campbellite. And, and yet and, they say he restored the church, he obeyed the gospel, uh, he did this, he, did, he was a giant of the faith, and all of these things. That brings me to the point in the debate. You're bringing these things up from the spiritual sword. Uh, Don Bennett is saying, well, our church goes all the way back to the first century of Acts 2, uh, you know, Acts chapter 2, the day of Pentecost, and you were saying, well, wait a minute, all your brethren from the Church of Christ, or a lot of them, say that we restored it. And he was at that time associated with the Baptists and trying to reform the Baptists. Well, first he of was all, not a member of the Church of Christ. First of all, let me uh, refer you to this. Since you mentioned a while ago a statement you said before went on that you didn't care about Alexander Campbell, Here's what the Spiritual Sword magazine says. And this again, and the reason I'm referring to this magazine is there is a strong movement or a representation of the Church of Christ here in Austin that associates with this magazine. Mr. Jackson, who is a minister here of the Southwest Church of Christ, is a writer and a consistent speaker at the lectureship sponsored by these brethren out of Memphis, Mr. Bill Jackson. He writes for this magazine, he speaks at their lectureship, and I'm quoting from this magazine of October 1976, page 29. Men now living are in the debt of Alexander Campbell for having written and preached so faithfully these marvelous truths. And he goes on to explain that what Campbell and his brethren did was to restore this church that had gone out of existence into apostasy. Now you said you didn't care about Alexander Campbell. That's fine. But you see there are other representative Church of Christ men like Mr. Jackson's brethren here at Spiritual Sword. They have more regard for Mr. Campbell than you seem to have. Can I, can I respond to that? 
Yes. Now, if, if you say, I said during the period that Alexander was caught up trying to find his way in false doctrine, he was still a Baptist, more Baptist, you know, he's still a Baptist during this period that you're talking about. It. Are you depression. saying then mm -hmm. that the... You're not going to try to get Are you me saying that my... the assertions by these people that the Church of Christ was restored by the Campbells and his friends, that that's untrue? That's what I... I Campbell well, I, did I, not... I wanna, I wanna Campbell did not restore <laughs> the that's Church not, of Christ. God bless you. That's Thank right. You. Campbell God did not God restore the Church of Christ. God God the Bible says it's Baptist everlasting kingdom. We've proved that's the right. point. Brother Larry, uh, as we've discussed this, you know, when I came up here, I had done a little preliminary uh, questioning about which group of the Churches of Christ did Mr. Bennett and Mr. Williams affiliate with? Because hmm. there are many divisions within the Churches of Christ. You know that. They're divided over whether or not to support orphan homes out of the church treasury, whether or not to support the Herald of Truth radio and television ministry, uh, whether or not you can have uh, divided classes for Sunday schools, and, and all kinds of divisions. I could go in here and name them. Uh, they're one of the most divided religious groups in America, yet they're all claiming to be that we're the one and only Church of Christ. So I said, as you remember, when you first contacted me, I said, well, which category are they with? And you didn't know at that time exactly what I was talking about. That's right. I had to explain to you that they're all split up. Well. <laughs> You said that you thought that they were in fellowship somewhat with, uh, at least we got around to this, that with this Mr. Jackson. Bill Jackson of thought, Southwest Church And of as it turns out, Mr. Jackson wrote them a letter commending them for uh, participating. I have that letter right, right. here. I can probably and, and read so it later. I said, okay. I said, okay, these guys are spiritual swordsmen. They're in with uh, Jackson and Warren and Elkins and mm -hmm. Deaver mm -hmm. and uh, those kind of uh, men. I said, there were the Spiritual Sword Magazine Churches of Christ. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I brought over some spiritual swords, which were teaching that Campbell restored the church after it apostatized and, and so on. Well, I get up here and I present my material. And now Mr. Bennett and Mr. Williams, they come up. And as you recall, I went over and shook hands with them. <laughs> That's right. The <laughs> they the said they did not believe that the church apostatized. Mm -hmm. They believed that the church was always in existence and they did not believe this doctrine of the spiritual sword of Warren and Elkins and Deaver and Jackson where they say that the church apostatized after the early apostolic days. Mm -hmm. They said, we don't believe that. Is that as bad as having musical instruments? Well, uh, all I know is that uh, these fellows are making liars out of these. <laughs> so one of these Church of Christ groups, according to the way the debate went, is not telling right. us the truth. Right. I mean, these men over here are telling us that Alexander Campbell and his brethren, mm -hmm. they call them the restorers. People like the Bill Jackson of the Southwest yeah. Church of Christ. They're telling us that these uh, men, the uh, Campbells, etc., that they mm -hmm. restored the church. Mm -hmm. And now these men, Mr. Bennett and Mr. Williams, whom <laughs> Jackson commended for the mm -hmm. debate, uh, they come along here and they say, no, we don't believe that the church apostatized. We don't believe it was restored by mm -hmm. these uh, men that you're talking about here. He mm -hmm. said, we believe there was a church all along. You remember Mr. Mm -hmm. Williams or Mr. Bennett? Mm -hmm. He said, well, that was before Alexander Campbell became a member of the Church of Christ. <laughs> See, like he was a Baptist and then he repudiated that and went over and joined the Church of Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, as I said, I'd like to have asked him, well, when and where did Alexander Campbell ever find a Church of Christ to join or to unite himself with or to be baptized into. But now what we have here then is two distinct divisions of doctrine mm -hmm. about the doctrine of the restoration of the church. Mm -hmm. Bennett and Williams say the church did not apostatize. Mm -hmm. The spiritual sword group, which includes Mr. Jackson here in uh, uh, Austin. Austin because <laughs> He's one of their constant writers and constant speakers. By that I mean he's one of the, oh, I don't know, four or five dozen or so men that they constantly use in their magazine and in their lectures. He's on television a lot here also. Right. If you would like a free newsletter on this or other subjects, just give us a call at Christian Answers. The phone number is area code 512-218-8022. That's 512-218-8022. 8022. Or you could email us at cdebater at aol.com. That's cdebater at aol.com.